Hello mathematical literacy learners, welcome to a sort of like a revision <laughs> video. Okay, so this is a response to a question that has been asked where the question is, how do you get this amount at the beginning of the formula here, which all of these formulas they have? It's actually very simple. I'm going to explain, but I also want to remind you that you can also send your own request and I will respond. And I noticed on this one when I was trying to respond on the comment section that it's better to explain it through calculations. And that's why I decided to do the video. Okay. So if you look at this um, amount here, in order to get this amount, you have to go back to the first text bracket, right? So then this is the second text bracket. So we go to the first text bracket. What this amount is, is actually the tax for the maximum income in text bracket number one. So what you do is you take this amount, you use the formula here, and then you should be getting this amount. Let's do the calculation. Okay, let's try it out, okay? What is the maximum amount on uh, text bracket number one? It is actually 205,900, right? So this is the amount we are now going to use to calculate text. And then we should be getting this amount. This means that for text bracket number two, you are taxed in text bracket number one. And whatever you have extra... From text bracket number one, it will charge at 20. It will charge at 26%. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're just going to say text. Because we this amount is on text bracket number one, we're going to use the formula on text bracket number one by saying text is equal to 205,900 multiplied by 18% because that's what the formula says we must do. And the answer is 37,060. Two range. So that's what the answer is there. 37,062. What does this mean? This means that if you earn 205,901, right? It means that this one rand here will be charged at 26%. And the rest of it is actually charged on text bracket number one. So to get 67,144, we are going to... Uh, look at this amount here, which is 321,600, right? Okay, so what's going to happen here is we're going to say, we're going to use 321,600 as the taxable income. And this taxable income is on row two. So when we calculate tax, we're going to say um, 37062 plus 26% of taxable income above 205,900, right? And then we're going to say 37,062 plus 26% is 26 divided by 100, 0, 0,26 multiplied by, and then we say taxable income, 321,600 minus 205,900. Right, and then let's calculate the tax. Okay, so I'm gonna start here by saying three two one six hundred minus two zero five nine hundred, and that will give us. Let me start again. Oh, that will give us um, one one five seven hundred. Right. So here it means that this amount is the only amount that is going to be calculated at 26%, right? The rest of it was calculated on row one. See that? Okay. So now we can say multiply that by 26%. So we have 37062 plus 30082. And then you add the two together. And you get 67144, right? So what it means is that 
this is actually a sliding scale. If you've seen a sliding scale on, 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 for those of you who are going to see a sliding scale, what they do is they take the amount and they separate it and they start calculating here and here and here. But what they've done, instead of doing it like how we do it um, for water and electricity using a sliding scale, they've actually created a formula that uses a sliding scale.